What we have here is a Tonga walking stick and they call it the Nyami Nyami walking stick. All the information of how the Tonga people used to live even before the demo in Lake Kariba was there. It can be explained on this stick, their lifestyle and how they lived. Uh, these are the stuff which we have which were used by the Tonga people. We have the instruments which were used for rituals. And we also have these arrows which were used for fishing and also to hunt animals. And, uh, the Tonga women also do basket weaving for their grains and we also have this uh, for which were used to drink beer during their rituals or during their leisure time and we also have um, these ones which were used for cooking um, and these were also kept, uh, which this one was used to keep uh, their grave. Um, yeah, I think that's all we have here. Which symbolize the Tonga lifestyle. This is on the top, this is the head of the Nyami Nyami uh, or Nyama Nyama. And this symbolized uh, the Tonga people eat fish um, and these were people which beat drums during their rituals or um, during their ceremonies and this symbolized that they smoke daha or um, and these bangles symbolized that the Tonga women or girls wore bangles and this, this symbolized the they use this to burn incense during their ceremony or during their their rituals and this is the smoking pipe which were used by the Tonga people to smoke daha. Thank you. Here are pictures of the Tonga people. The first one is showing the homestead of the Tonga people and there is a lady who is grinding on the on the stone there, making food for the family. Okay. And there is a lady who is smoking ganja or mbanje using that small smoking pipe. <laughs> and those are the Tonga models with the bangles in their hands and legs and even on the head.